At churches around Indonesia, military and police are screening worshippers before they enter. Good Friday is one of the most important days in the Christian calendar. This holy week, there's heightened security, with personnel at the gates and armoured vehicles standing by. I feel that Indonesians live peacefully side by side. Our diversity is beautiful, but there are people who want to disturb the security. On Sunday, in the eastern port city of Makassar, a married couple detonated a bomb near a cathedral, injuring 20 people. It is not shocking anymore. Every time there is a Christmas celebration, Easter celebration, or pre-Ramadan preparation period, sadly to say, there are open attacks against Christian churches. The bombers died in the attack. Since then, police have arrested suspected associates of the couple who were linked to an ISIL-affiliated network. In 2018, a family of six detonated explosives at several churches in the city of Surabaya, killing more than a dozen Christians. Security forces have cracked down on these violent networks in recent years and arrested a number of key individuals. While attacks are less frequent than they were in the early 2000s, experts say religious intolerance is still a security concern. De-radicalization experts say combating hatred against minorities is part of their work. We have to give them a new understanding of religion, tell them to let go of their contradictory understanding and the beliefs which they use to justify their wrong actions. Security experts say the landscape has changed and there are new challenges. The recruitment is very fast. Uh, and using uh, social media as one of its tools, you know, so rather than purely collective action, no, it's a connective action. Experts say the government should do more to protect minorities. All citizens are equal, whether you are Sunni Muslim, Ahmadiyya Muslim, Shia Muslim, Christian, Buddhist, local believers, or whatever. So the government needs to make sure that everyone is treated equally in Indonesia. Indonesia's president insists people should continue their religious activities without fear, but for some that is a difficult prospect. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.